Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hello, this is Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner, and I have the Hanson's coach, Kevin Hanson here, who is going to tell us about a little bit about uh, some of the things that are going on with his team and some of the alumni that are here, and uh, let us know what he thinks about uh, everything going on here at Houston uh, this weekend. Well, we haven't been in very long. We we arrived a couple hours ago, Gary, but we're uh, yeah we're excited to be here. We were in Florida the last five weeks, and so we come in with 16 athletes, um, current athletes of the team, and 18 alumni. So uh, 34 people here between the men and women that we're pulling for each and every one of them. Oh, awesome. And, um, you know, um, how's everybody um, that went down to Florida? The training went well for everybody down there? Um, yeah, I mean, a couple niggles, but uh, nothing with um, nothing with our, uh, with uh, Desi or Mike or right. things like that. I mean, but yes, yeah, so, uh, the really pleased with how it went. I mean, if you'd asked me five weeks ago, um, would you be pleased with how it turned out right now? I'm totally pleased. So it's a good, it was worthwhile. And one of our uh, old time favorites who made a quick comeback this fall, uh, Clint Fern. Did he go down and train with you? And how's his uh, training looking to do with this race? Clint, Clint raced the same weekend that we went down there to get his qualifier. Okay, it was the last possible time. So no, he's been recovering and uh, trying to get himself feeling um, well enough so that he doesn't embarrass himself here. Um, and and uh, but Clint is uh, Clint is it, it's it's really exciting. This is his fourth um, Olympic trials. So um, in the marathon. So um, and I think there's only two of them here in the field that fall into that category this year. Okay. So on the men's side, him and Josh Cox. Okay. So. And um, we wanted to know, uh, how many um, Michigan um, athletes do you have that um, have run in, um, at Michigan you know, universities and colleges that have run on your team over the years? Well, currently, Clint, who was, went to Lake Orion High School and Eastern Michigan, and um, Luke, who uh, is from the other side of uh, other side of the state and um, went to Central Michigan University? Those two in particular, and um, the, that are currently on a team. Richie Brinker ran for Central Michigan's from Snover, um, Sandusky, Michigan, right. and um, uh, Mike Franco ran at Traverse City and um, uh, ran at Eastern Michigan, and um, oh yeah, Carl ran Rundells from. Uh, uh, went to Vanderbilt, um, went to Birmingham Sea Home and uh, ran with the group. So yeah, so we have a, a decent number. Proud of them. Definitely. Well, that's awesome. Well, uh, and um, what do you think about um, the whole marathon thing being here in Houston with the men and the women? They haven't done this probably ever. So I think it's gonna be very exciting. What do you think about it? Having everything together and then a major marathon the next day? It's 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 great. Um, Houston's a great host, and so on and so forth. Um, from a personal point of view, there's one problem I have, and that is that um, I, I can't be at two places at one time. So it's like you know, while the race is developing, you're worried: is there a break going on in the men's race that I'm missing while I'm watching the women's, or, and vice versa? But other than that. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. Houston, if anybody could pull it off, these people here can. Well, good. Well, good luck to all your runners, and it'll be uh, definitely exciting watching everybody this weekend. So uh, good luck to all the guys and gals you got running for you. And uh, i just got to say you guys have done a terrific job over the years bringing athletes to a top-notch level, and good luck with everybody. I'm here with uh, one of our qualifiers, Clara Grant. So anyway, uh, where are you from? I'm from Morgantown, West Virginia. Okay, and uh, obviously, is this your first Olympic trials? This is my first, my oh. second marathon. <laughs> second marathon. Uh, somebody did tell me that. Uh, so um, I heard you've had a fairly fast time coming in. Uh, what was your time, and where did you run it at? My time is 2:29:54 at Boston this past spring. And um, I'm ready to prove people that it's not just the tailwind <laughs> that makes me that fast. <laughs> so well, we'll see. <laughs> well, if you're in 229 in Boston, you are definitely right in the mix of things, to say the least. So, uh, well, uh, so you're living in uh, West Virginia. Do you still train there? I still train there. I train with my um, college coach. He's still my coach, so I haven't made much of a change from college to professional running. A few oh. things, but same place, same people. <laughs> Where did you go to uh, college at? 
West Virginia University. Okay. And uh, is it, uh, well, it's obviously very hilly there, so that prepared you for Boston. And even this course is not as flat as everybody thinks. That's true. People think it's um, flatter than it is, I think. And I came here last year to run the half and found that out. There's a little bit more of uh, ups and downs in it than you think, yeah, which is good for a, me. There's a lot of gradual inclines that go a little longer than what you think. I rode on the press truck, and I've done some running around here, and it, it's not as flat, and uh, the concrete is very hard here. That's right. <laughs> so, well, uh, how did you feel about running last year's race here? Um, it was really good to, that was just kind of to get to know the course, right. so it was really good to come here and see it, and um, just to Get to know the area a little bit, and people are really nice here. And <laughs> the uh, the course, I think, will be good good for race day. And now uh, in college, would you run the five and ten k? I did five and ten k, longest okay. things you could run. <laughs> and uh, so, what's your best of five and ten k times? Uh, sixteen oh one and thirty three sixteen. So not quite as well as my marathon, but no, well, <laughs> I transferred. Over well, it pretty well. <laughs> well, and that means you got great endurance, and that's what counts for the marathon. Now, have you uh, adjusted your training uh, from Boston after you had that great time there for the last basically ten months? Um, just slightly in a few different ways. It's just more. Um, I'm still kind of transitioning from a college runner to a marathoner, and um, so it's been a little bit more volume, a little bit more higher volume workouts. And um, really, it's been more structured for a marathon. Of course. Now, did you run any other uh, major races um, this summer or fall? I did. I ran a lot on the USA road running circuit. And um, my last race for that was the US 20K Championships in New Haven. So. And uh, <laughs> how did you do there? I was second place. Okay. And I led a lot of it and kind of tuckered out towards the end. But uh -huh. <laughs> I feel stronger now. And I thought it was a pretty good end to the summer season. Well, um, and at this point, um, I'm just, uh, you know, cu curiosity to think of uh, how many miles a week do you usually do? Um, recently, well, for this buildup, I've done more than I've ever done before. Not extremely, <laughs> not, not a, an extreme increase, but near 120. And before I was around 110. Okay, so, so I've added a little bit more volume and a little bit more consistently. Well, that, it sounds like you're ready, and uh, I'm sure you're very excited. Um, any last thoughts on uh, how you feel about everything going on here at this point? you got to be very excited. The Olympia trial is always exciting. I am. I think it's going to be a great race because this is just a really deep field, and I'm just honored to be a part of it and thankful for all the support I've had from my friends, family, Mizuno, and my coach. So <laughs> I'm excited well, to represent them and run well. Well, good luck and have the race of your life, and we'll be looking for you on uh, Saturday morning to be right up there. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.